Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. And this time it's really cracking and really cryptic. Uh, by which I mean that I'm revisiting a crossword from 14 years ago from the Listener Crossword series, Safe Cracking by Kia. And now I remember that this had one of the most excellent end games of a, of a cryptic puzzle I've ever seen. What I'm going to do is um, record two versions of this video, or edit two versions of this video, and the long version will involve me attempting to solve all the clues. Now the, uh, the briefer version will be me jumping from this point to the filled grid and the instructions and the message and the end game. Um, so if that's the one you've chosen, then um, I'll be back in a few seconds for you, but some time for me. Um, but as it is, I'll see you again in a moment. And now we've established the safe dial and the instructions, right four, left five, right, oh no, I've missed one, sorry, um, left six, right four. Right, let's go back to the preamble. Here we go. Now, what are we going to do with all of this? The letters, each successive rotation reveals part of an instruction. So rotations to be applied to the dial after the grid is initially filled. OK, so if we turn the whole dial to the left, assuming that means the top moves to the left, I suppose it could mean the bottom moves to the left, which would be clockwise, but I think left means the top moves to the left. So we'll move all the letters to the left six places. Let's try that. G will go one, two. Let's just try and memorize. So it's Cassiting God. Or maybe I'll start with the D. D Cass D Cassiting Odd. So we'll move that all around six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so we get D cassiting odd, which I have to remember to spell the right way, obviously. And that has rotated the safe. Each successive rotation reveals part of an instruction, seven words in total of lengths seven, six, two, eight, four, five, seven. So can we see a seven letter word now? Um, I would think, given that we're turning letters that are mostly on the diagonals, surely the word that we would be finding would be in a straight line. Maybe. And this is giving us another instruction. Crikey. Um, still looking. Now I'm looking at diagonals now as well. Maybe the idea is wrong. I was just convinced that this is what we were going to have to do. Turn the letters around and then find some part of the instruction in the grid. But I'm not seeing it yet. Maybe my idea of left six was wrong. Maybe it's the bottom. That just doesn't seem right. I mean, you could move the letters on six in the alphabet, but that doesn't feel like a rotation, even if you come round to the beginning of the alphabet again. And in fact, left six, whichever way round you go, is the same on a 12-letter dial. So keep looking, come on. Must be a seven letter word revealed here somewhere. Uh, 
and it must use these oh strisit aftisia mm. rod no. oh look there it is yeah using the diagonals of the dial R E P L A C E replace. Oh yeah, here we go. So that was what left six gave us. The next one is right four. So let's move it from decasseting odd right. So we're going clockwise now. One, two, three, four. Decasseting odd. Let's try it. A C I T I N G O D. That's turned the dial four to the right. Now we had replace before, and that's become repliti. That's no use. But look at this one. This bit of the dial has string of string of that's the six two replace string of oh that's clever right now we're going to move it left five for instruction three so that's going anti-clockwise one two three four five from here d cats ting odd Right, that's the instruction completed. Replace string of, and we want an eight-letter word now. String of tin. Keep using these diagonals, perhaps. No. Ah, oh, oh, look from here, from the D of thirty-one diamonds. Oh, there's an eight-letter word suddenly appearing. I mean, you can't imagine how the compiler has constructed this. Replace string of diamonds. Now, what's the next instruction? Right two. And we've got four, five, seven still to go. Two moves left. Okay, so right two, that's not so hard. That's going this way round. We'll start here then with D, K. Oh, no, that's a C. A, C. D, right? And we want four, five now. Um, Stritifano. Four, five. With paste from 21 across. Look at that. Replace string of diamonds with paste. Oh, what an instruction this is. And then we've got one more turn to do, which is left 11. Well, that's the same as right one, which is a bit easier to contemplate. Um, right is that way around. So that starts us here with D, C, A, C, I, T, I, N, G, O, D. String of paste, and we need seven letters. Uh, you may spot it before I do. Got to be a word here. Oh, don't say I've gone wrong suddenly at the last moment. Cast note. Replace string of diamonds with paste. What would it be? Now we've had letters using that diagonal, that diagonal, this row, this row. Oh, come on, there must be a seven letter word here somewhere. Left 11 has to be the same as right one, because left 12 would bring them all back to where they were. Risky. Come on, it's got to be here on site. 
replica. Look, it's the same place as replace. Oh my God, it's now become replica. Replace string of diamonds with paste replica. I mean, this is just genius. Okay, so what do we do with that instruction? The final rotation also reveals the prize. So this is the final grid now, whereupon solvers must follow the instruction. So the string of diamonds, is that the letters D? Yes, I think it is. They're all forming a string now. I remarked early on there was a lot of Ds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. How do I replace? Oh, with the let paste replica is 12 letters long. So, surely it starts this side. However, once this is done, vital evidence of the crime can be discovered. R E P L I C A. What vital evidence can be discovered now? It must be highlighted. Have I done that the wrong way around? Maybe I should put the paste replica the other way around. Oh, yeah, 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 I can see what it's going to do, actually. Let's put that string of diamonds the other way around. So, paste. I have to remember where they were going. R, E, P. That's it. L, I, C, A. We put the paste replica that way around. And I'll highlight it in a moment. And look what we've got. Oh, my God. Look at this. Starting from the F here. Finger. And then prints below it. And that needs to be highlighted for the solution. So, first of all, I'll show you that that's... I'll put back the string of diamonds. Like, there were all these Ds in the grid. So, there was this string of in the grid and once we'd done the rotations of the dials the right number of times these D's were all connected there are one or two other D's in the grid well there's one over here but it's not connected so this is the string of diamonds remember D in crosswords can be an abbreviation for diamonds from the suit in the playing playing cards so once we replace that string of diamonds with the word paste replica which is what we've been told to do, in a way. Then we can suddenly see the phrase... Oh, sorry, that, that wasn't in there. Um, it, in fact, uh, sorry, I got the uh, diamond wrong here. The string of diamonds had the D up here. was part of acidified, wasn't it, originally, and this one is not highlighted, so. Um, paste replica went in there, and now we can see finger prints, and in the final grid we would highlight those in a different colour. I mean, what an astonishing, astonishing construction to make a grid full of real words with one letter missing from each one, but the letters all contribute to this message. You turn this 12-letter dial five times, revealing these different words each time. In one case, the words are in the same place. Replace becomes replica. And that gives you this string of diamonds, which you then are now told to replace with a paste replica. And when you put that in, you find fingerprints. It's just, I don't know, words fail me. What a puzzle that is. I love it. So I hope you enjoyed watching that with me, either in the long or short version. And, uh, you know, respect to Kia for creating that. No surprise um, that crossword solvers love that because it involves cracking something like a code, following a com complex instruction and achieving an amazing finish to a puzzle. 
And uh, also no surprise that that won the puzzle of the year in the listener that year, which was the only year a puzzle of mine came second. And I don't begrudge it for a moment because my puzzle was okay, but it was nothing compared to this. What a brilliant puzzle. Um, I do know Kia. Uh, it's Roger Phillips. He's a, he's a great guy, but he's an unbelievable compiler. Thanks very much for watching. Hope to see you again sometime on Cracking the